That is really, really, really great. I'm very impressive. Seeing a young graduate like yourself that finished from UC Health Medical School in 2020, running a charity project with impacts on a section of, you know, serious concern in our community um, is very impressive. Not just our community, in fact, it, it would be across a, con you know, a, across a continent, which is Africa in particular, um, which that's really, really impressive. I know I asked this question before, but from what you've just said now, can you enlighten us a bit why you actually chose this particular project? Because there's so many other projects that you could have done, but you chose this one. And I'm sure it's very dear to you, very dear to your heart. So can you just tell us a little bit more? Of course. So actually, um, <clears throat> I before I did any of this so I you know um, you, you said that I'm on the uh, board of trustees for Sex Expression UK but actually before um, I even was on the board and things like that I was volunteering for them in my university days and actually that's where this idea sort of started to prop up for me um, just because we were doing um, sexual reproductive health education um, at the time I was in Belfast, we were doing it in Ireland. Um, and it really just, you know, I started to think more about Nigeria. And I was like, if here in, it, it, we have such poor understanding of our um, sexual reproductive health, that it's great for me to do it here, but honestly, I'm, I'm Nigerian. And so I've always had a passion and a love for Nigeria and for, you know, African women. Um, I was raised by an African woman. I was raised by African, you know, parents. And um, they've always ensured I had a really strong tie to Nigeria. And I've always wanted something that I was doing there and so then this cause was something that I've just actually really been interested in always just in in general um I've always had an interest in women's health maybe 